I thank God he orders our steps. The steps of a righteous man. Thank you so much for the sentiments, Lynn, and and all of you. Thank you. Uh, it's much needed. I'm glad it didn't happen in October because I need we needed more now than we did back then. But uh, we do thank you for that. We're looking forward to a new year. Uh, I know so many of you, and I could stand up here because I know you personally have been through such horrific things this year. Uh, different things and different lives. And some of you you receive our email and. Uh, I sent out a little thing. It was 18 years ago on Christmas Eve morning, December 25th, that my father passed away. I'll never forget. I, I was home. I got a phone call that the, EMT, the EMTs were trying to get into the house, and they couldn't. And I had to drive up to Kimball Avenue and open the door, and I went up. My dad had passed away in his sleep, and my mother was there, and she was an invalid, so she couldn't even get out of bed to do anything. And uh, I said that, you know, that I'll never forget that Christmas. I said, you know, life is full of joy and sorrow, and, and neither one knows the calendar day. You know, we think, why did these things happen around Christmas? They, they happen, things happen when they happen. And this life is full of joy and sorrow, but you know what? Eternity is either one or the other. It's either eternal joy or eternal sorrow apart from God. And I thank God that we have the opportunity to make the choice here of who, who we want to serve and who, who we want to worship.